here in the southwest of England, a hot pot of forward thinking creativity has been bubbling away for the past few decades. We can look back as far as the 60s with the city's affiliation to the hippie and counterculture movement perhaps helped by some close proximity to Glastonbury and Stonehenge and progressive politics that the city was known for. We can look at this town's affiliation with the literary history of this country. Fast forward to the cautious optimism of the 90s when British music scenes are popping up every couple of weeks. Post-war, this, this city's seen a massive influx of immigration from everywhere around the world, stirring up some really exciting new cultural influences. These influences gave birth to countless new genres, bands, rappers, MCs, DJs, some Banksy-level big names. I'm talking Tricky, Massive Attack, Portishead. For a while, the Bristol scene held some real weight. But what about these days? Is the scene alive and kicking? Is it dead in the water? Is it stuck in cultural limbo somewhere in between? I seem to hear different things every time I'm out and about. Let's have a look round town at some of the venues that have housed this scene over the years. I'm outside the Bristol Beacon, or as it was known until 2020, Colston Hall. Edward Colston is intrinsically linked to the cultural identity of Bristol, as you'll remember his, st his statue getting toppled a couple of years ago. This is one of the bigger venues in the city centre, there aren't many big ones around town. Um, and this, in the 60s and 70s, played host to all of the essential rock acts coming through the UK. Uh, David Bowie, Led Zeppelin, all of their mates. As you can see, it's had a bit of a rebrand. After a fire at the Fleece, just over this side of town in 1996, a whole month's worth of artists had nowhere to play. Here, the Louisiana, which was just a humble pub at the time, offered a backup option as a venue upstairs for these artists. Soon, uh, local up-and-coming people noticed the charm of this place and we saw Amy Winehouse, The White Stripes, Black Keys, Coldplay at very... It's... This former Victorian wool hall is called The Fleece and this is a pillar in the live scene in Bristol. Uh, putting on live music since 1982, we've seen such legendary acts as uh, Radiohead, Queens Against the Stone Age and Rage Against the Machine, the real thing.
Hiya, yeah. so you just played here and your name is? Ernesto. Ernesto, nice to meet you man. Nice to meet you. Um, so have you played gigs in Bristol before? Yeah, we played like five or six. That is the first time we're playing in the Luciana. Oh uh, yeah, it's a, it's a great venue. Like we, we talk about it a lot in the film. Like everyone in Bristol has to come through the Louisiana, you know. Uh, where else have you played before? Can you remember? We played in the Chelsea pub in oh, Easton. Yeah, that's a great pub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Red Lion. Yeah, okay, too. I know that one, yeah. And in the Old Hallows. All oh, hollow, yeah, yeah. It's like a community center yeah. that is in Isto. That's a really cool one. Yeah? Yeah, that's cool. Uh, where was your favorite? Was it here? Yeah, here, mm, it was bigger than the other ones, and the sound of it, it was amazing. And we played it too in the Rockaway Park. Oh, yeah, in yeah. a festival oh, that, yeah, festival thing. Yeah, yeah they do it there and we played and it was amazing. The venue is, is very, very nice. It's amazing. Yeah, we, we have some great venues in the city. What, what do you think of the people, like the audience? Yeah, the people here in Bristol, they are, they are amazing. They give you everything in every show. Yeah. Um, we, we like it. The vibe is... Yeah. They, they help you with their energy to play uh, yeah. and to enjoy the, the show. Yeah, yeah, the people are very different in this city. Yeah. Very relaxed, musical, artistic people, you know. Uh, do you listen to any artists from Bristol? you listen to any music from here? Yeah, yeah. So I, I, li I like reggae and dub. Oh, yeah. Here from Bristol. Yeah, yeah, there was and a big scene here. Yeah, yeah the, the, the underground scene here is huge. Yeah. Yeah. We are in love with Bristol. Yeah, oh, that's great. So do you think, where do you think the scene is going? That's kind of what we're looking at. Like, do you think it's going this way? Do you think it's going this way? Because lots of artists develop in Bristol and stay here. But, and there haven't been lots of breakouts. So what do you think? Do you think there's bands around that maybe will? Yeah, we are trying to do that, to play in London, to play in Oxford, but it's difficult because yeah. we know Bristol, we know Venus here, and we, are, we, we don't know too many outside here, and we want to move it, but it's true that because there are too many good venues here in Bristol, exactly. we don't finish, you know, to, to yeah. do the circuit around Bristol. So yeah. it's like, yeah, we have to go outside, but okay, but we have now in a, another gig in Bristol, okay, yeah. stay. Yeah. I think and lots of artists feel the same. And the people is amazing and every show you do, it's mo mostly sold out, so yeah. we, we, we don't move to be on it, but we have, we have. We want Thank you very to. much, Ernesto. Thank you very that's, much. That's great. Man. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Good Thank luck you. with Hiya, so I'm here with Dom Waters, who is a name in the Bristol music scene. Do you want to talk a bit about yourself? Hello, hello. So I'm Dom. I was in Shock Horror for a year, well, two years, but gigging for a year due to COVID. Uh, I do loads of graphics. I'm trying to get more involved in sort of the graphical, visual side of the scene and sort of put my own sort of grotty punk stamp on the look of Bristol music at the moment. Bold words, bold words. Uh, any music you like that's coming out of the city right now? Like any good gigs you've been to recently? Uh, Kingsdown Youth Choir, I think, are really fucking good. Kind of uh, the more intricate, subdued pu uh, punk side of things. Um, they supported us on my last gig with you in Shock Horror, and uh, they, yeah, they, I, I just really, really loved them. They were just kind of ca quite captivating. There are no one left for a Suggy in that one. Everyone stayed in. Um, and. Every time I go out, I talk to people, they talk about, uh, you know, where the scene's headed and the film's called Dead Scene. Uh, I was speaking to a girl at a rave the other night who assured me on, uh, you know, on word of her DJ boyfriend that the scene was definitely going this way. Uh, what do you think about artists up and coming? Do you think Bristol's going to get a bigger profile anytime soon? Uh, it's definitely, it's definitely like brooding, brooding under, the, under the surface. Um, I think we haven't had given it enough time to see the, sort of the post-lockdown explosion take over Bristol yet. But from people that I've spoken to and kind of just sort of the energy in the air, to be poncy about it, um, I feel like there's sort of a, a big independent arts revolution coming in terms of what people have been working on and, and uh, brewing in lockdown and ready to send it out into the masses, invade their eyes and ears and everything else. So I think it's definitely coming and the bands that I've seen so far they are like the early onset of that, but the following impact's coming soon, I reckon. Definitely an artiste. Thank you very much, Dom.